Hello and welcome to part 12 in this series of videos exploring the literary references in the Chinese web drama Shan He Ling, aka Word of Honor. This will be the last part in this series. This doesn't mean there's no more literary references in the show. There's many more literary references in the show that I haven't touched upon, but things have to end somewhere. In episode 1, we see Zhou Zishu filling in plum flowers on the painting on his wall. We know there's 81 flowers, each representing a member of the Four Seasons Manor. This combined with the fact that it was snowing during the scene makes me believe this is a reference to a type of painting started in the Ming Dynasty called there are many variants of this type of painting, but we will only talk about the plum flower one. Traditionally, you will paint nine plum flowers, each flower having nine petals. Then, starting from the winter solstice, you fill in one petal per day. When all the petals are filled, 81 days will have passed and winter is over. Hence why it is called 9 9 Dispel Cold Picture. 9 times 9 is 81, and by the end of the 81 days, the cold would have dispelled. While the painting comes from the Ming Dynasty, this idea of counting 81 days from the winter solstice is an old one. The earliest textual references can be traced back to the Thousand and Northern Dynasties, which is around 420 to 589 BCE. In Abel Ten, the poor white Grim Reaper dies and got hung. This is a reference to the legend of how the black and white Grim Reapers came to be. Legend has it that the white Grim Reaper used to be a man named Xie Bian, who was good friends with the man who became the Black Grim Reaper named Fan Wu Jiu. One day, as they passed underneath the bridge, they see storm clouds rolling in, and Xie Bian decides to go back home to get his umbrella. He asked Fan Wu Jiu to wait right there for him. After the man left, the rain came down hard, and the river swelled and drowned Fan Wu Jiu, who refused to leave his spot. When Xie Bian returned with the umbrella, he realized that his friend had died and proceeded to hang himself. The ruler of the underworld, upon hearing their story, decided to give them their titles as Hei Bai Wu Chang and charge them with reaping souls. And that's why they hanged him in the show. In episode 12, Zhou Zishu quotes the ancient philosopher Zhuang Zi in a speech to Zhang Chengling. The whole quote is, Wu sheng ye you ya, er zhi ye wu ya, yi you ya sui wu ya, dai yi. The quote means, Life is limited, but knowledge has no limit. Using the limited to pursue the unlimited is dangerous. Here, Zhou Zishu is using this quote to express his belief that opening the armory would be pointless since there's only so much one person can learn during their lifetime and thus it is not something worth dying over. In episode 27, after Ye Bai Yi spares both Zhou Zishu and Wen Kexing, he says, Tian Di Bu Ren. This quote comes from the Dao De Jing. It's best translated as the universe is unconscious. It regards everything as insignificant. It can also be interpreted to mean that the world won't interfere with anything's existence, allowing them to live and die naturally. Here, Ye Bai Yi is lamenting the fact that someone like the head of the ghost valley can walk through the world freely. 
In episode seven, Wang Keqing already pointed out that Cao Weining mixed two poems together while talking to Gu Xiang. This is actually a running gag in the show. Cao Weining gets quotes wrong. In episode twenty nine, he mixed up two poems again, and even recites a line wrong. He said. 金风玉露一相逢，天上人间不算数。When the line should be, 金风玉露一相逢，便胜却人间无数。This line comes from a Song Dynasty poem about the story of cowherd and weaver girl, who are a couple separated by the Milky Way, and can only meet on the seventh day of the seventh month. Each year, thus the seventh day of the seventh month is also a day for lovers, called Qi Xi. 金风玉露一相逢，便胜却人间无数。This line means meeting once a year in the autumn wind is better than the countless couples in the world who are together but no longer in love. The next line Cao Weining quotes is from Chang Hen Ge, the Song of Everlasting Regret, which is a famous Tang Dynasty poem by the poet Bai Juyi. It is a love poem about the relationship between Tang Dynasty Emperor Xuanzong and noble consort Yang. Spoilers: It didn't end well. The line Cao Weining quotes is often used by lovers to declare their devotion to each other. 在天愿作比翼鸟，在地愿为连理枝。In the sky, we are willing to become 比翼鸟。In Chinese myths, 比翼鸟 are a type of bird that only have one eye and one wing. So they need to stay in pairs in order to fly. On the ground, we are willing to become entwined branches. The lines that Cao Weining uses are about lovers staying together, but the poems are from different dynasties and writers. Also, they are about love stories that don't end very well. It's good foreshadowing on the part of the scriptwriter. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.